we're going back into our sequence. So I'll just double click it here and open it up. And let's start in. On just the regular plugs where one plug is controlling one string or multiple string, we don't have a lot to choose from on here, uh, being that this is just the old system here and not the new pixelized. So everything we're doing is pretty much mechanical. So we can do things like... Uh, now, I'm not going to worry about making mine all that good looking. Uh, I'm just going to show you how things work here. So if we right click any spot out here on the timeline, we can go on Add Effect. And Set Level is the simplest one in here. I'll click it. And as you can see, I need to move this over so we can actually read it. And the first one right here is Icicle Blue, and on our timeline here, it's coming in as blue. That's because we set the colors there a while ago on the color handler. Uh, if we just wanted them to come on and go off uh, quickly, we can just put one box here. If I right-click on it again, left-click Copy. Now I've got that particular box copied. So I can go down through here and just paste it as many times as I like. And once I've got uh, a series of these, if I was just going to be turning it on and off, then I can go back and copy them all. I'll just click on the first one, hold down the shift, click on the last one. Right click, click copy. And now I can place them in here five at a time. And I can keep doing that ten at a time, twenty at a time, until we have as many as we want. The only thing that matters here is the box size. It, the color doesn't matter. So since I've already uh, copied or created these uh, blue ones here, I'm going to copy the whole bunch of them. I'm going to right click, tell it copy, and if I move down to Icicle White and start here, I can right click and tell it to paste. So now our icicles would go from blue to white to blue to white. And we can take a look to see what that looks like. I'm going to drop this down by minimizing it. I'll slide it down here at the bottom out of the way. We're going to go back to Setup Previews. And this time, we're not going to be configuring. We're actually going to look at our display. So we're going to put a check mark in the box. It'll show up. If it's not full screen, just go ahead and maximize it. We'll OK it, and then we'll minimize this one, drop it down out of the road. And I have my uh, sequence on here. So now it's sitting here at the bottom. So it's out of my way. So all I need to do, I don't know what that line is that showed up. <laughs> It'll go away here in a second. There. If I start it, then you're going to see the blues and whites turning on and off on the house. Stop it. I'll just hit the uh, stop right there in the middle. Also, these can be controlled with the space bar. By pressing the space bar, it'll start to play. Press it again, it'll stop. You can also begin the music from anywhere on the timeline by clicking up here in the gray area. And you'll see a little timer show up. And from this point is where it will play now if I push the uh, space bar. Each time I stop it, it'll reset back to here. So each time I uh, press it again, it'll start from here. That makes it easier for you to uh, see what it looks like as you're creating it on your home. So uh, this time, let's go to the upstairs window here. 
And I have noticed that uh, with it as bright as it is, these lights don't show up the greatest. So up. we're going to darken up that preview right there. I'm going to minimize this out of the way. And I'm going to go back into Vixen and uh, go back to the beginning screen here. I'll set previews. This time I'll highlight. I'll take the check mark off for just a moment. I'll highlight, click preview. And I'm going to darken it up some so the lights show up better. There we go. I'll close and it'll save it there in that position. So now I'll put the check mark back in the box and we have it back again. I'll OK it. That moves it out of the way and I'll minimize this to get it out of the way. Now I need to bring up my editor again. And we can see that it looks a lot brighter now that the house is in the dark. The lights are easier to see. So let's go back to, uh, I'll just maximize this to make it easier to work on. Then you can just continue on with what we've done up here. We can have the window blue. I'll paste that row, then the window white. I'll paste that row. And now our upstairs window and our icicles. I'll move this down so we can see. Both of them will come on and off with the music now. I'll stop it, bring it back up. Uh, we have other options of some of the items in here. I'll just show you here on the add effects. Some of these, uh, such as alternating, uh, a few of the others right there, these only work on multiples, like the alt arches. So if I go onto the top line right here on plugs, from this point, if I right click, go down to alternatings, now it brings in the, these icons, the way they look. If I want it to last longer than just those four bars right there, I can stretch it on out. And when I let go, then they revert right back to their original size. We just have a lot more of them. And this is what it looks like with those. Uh, let me bring that back up for just a second because I'm going to change the music up starting it here. And that way we don't have to listen to the whole song just to get to this point. So I'll start it. And you can see everything's turning from white to red. That's because we haven't set the one color there as blue on this particular uh, effect. You can do that by right clicking, going in, editing the effect. And we have the white side. And then if we change this side to blue and OK it. Now, if we start it again, let me move it down. Everything's turning from blue to white. The problem with that is my candy canes aren't blue, they're red. So I would have to go back in and change that or remove the candy canes from that group of plugs and have it be a group of its own. Then I could independently control it. Anytime you put anything up here, say I uh, added an effect here of a set level and decided I didn't like it, I can highlight it, right click and go to delete effect, or I can highlight it and simply hit the delete bar on my keyboard and get rid of it. Some of the others here, such as the wipe, well, these need a different type of relay than we're using. Uh, the ones that we have right now are zero cross relays. That means they're simply on or off. You can also buy random cross relays and replace the uh, zero cross that are on your board now 
but they're a little bit pricey. They'll run you about $5 a piece, so you're looking at about $40 a board to add those just so that it could fade in and out instead of simply turning on and off.